In this video, we're going to learn how to clear the input buffer in C++. So when we accept input from the user, the characters the user enters are going to temporarily be stored in a place called the input buffer. Sometimes we need to clear the input buffer in order to accept the next piece of input from the user. Let's go over an example where this occurs. We'll make a variable called number. It's going to be an integer. It will ask the user to enter a number and we'll store what they enter into the number variable. Then we'll ask the user to enter in a line, in other words, a string. And we'll store it into this character array line with length 256. So we'll say C out line colon, and we'll say C in dot get line line 256. And the way the get line function works is it's going to store whatever characters the user enters up until the next new line into the line character array up to this amount of characters. After we've done this, let's output the number and the line. So we'll say C out and line to give us a new line. And then we'll output the number. So C out number colon number and line. And then we'll output the line. So we'll say C out line colon line and line. And if we save this and run it, we could try to enter in the number and the line. So here we'll try to say five, but look what happens. We don't even get to enter the line. It just skips ahead and goes through our output statements where we output the number five and the line is blank. So what's happened here? What's happened here is the input buffer needed to be cleared before we could use get line. So when the user enters in the number here, they're going to enter in some number like five, then they're going to hit enter and the enter character is going to be a new line. So backslash n here. So after the user enters five and then hits enter, the state of the input buffer is going to be five followed by the new line character. Now the problem is C in is only going to rip off this five and store it into number. So the backslash n, the special new line character, that's going to be left on the input buffer. And we mentioned that get line is going to stop when it encounters the first new line character. And all we have on the input buffer right now is a new line character. So what happens is get line stops immediately. It doesn't even pause for user input because it encounters a new line character and it's done. That's what's going on there. We need to clear this character off the input buffer in order for the get line to work. And we can use the ignore function to do that. So here, before trying to use cn.getLine, we're going to say cn.ignore. And I'll say one and then backslash n. So the way ignore works is it's going to ignore up to this amount of characters on the input buffer or until it encounters the first new line, whichever comes first. So in our case, this doesn't really matter because we only have one character on our input buffer and we know it's going to be a new line. But basically, ignore is going to ignore up to this amount of characters or it's going to stop here, whichever comes first. So if we save this and run it, and now I enter in five and then test one, two, three, A, B, C, it works fine. Because what happened is cn.ignore takes off that one character. And now the input buffer is clear by the time we run get line. What if we did this though? What if I save it, run it, and this time we enter in five space and then we hit enter. Then it goes back to breaking again and it breaks because we entered in five, a space character, and then the new line character. And this ignore will ignore one character or it'll go up to the first new line character, whichever comes first. So we rip off the five with this C and number here. And then we can ignore one character and we're done because that's the maximum amount of characters that we're going to ignore. But we still have this new line on the input buffer. And so we're going to have the same issue as before with get line. So we could try to use a higher number here, like say five. Let's try that out. So we save this, run it. And I could say five space space enter and it still works. 
I could say ABC, test one, two, three here, and everything's good. And what happened there is we put in five, space, space, new line, and then we were able to ignore a maximum of five characters or the first new line, whatever came first. So the five gets ripped off with C and number here. And now we're set to ignore up to five characters. So we ignore this character and this character, and then we hit the first new line and we're done. So we can go up to five characters here, but if we save it, run it, and I put in five space, 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 new line, it goes back to breaking again. So we need a number here that is much larger. What we'll do is we'll provide the largest amount of characters that can possibly be on a stream. We're gonna use a special value for that. We'll say numeric underscore limits, stream size, colon, colon, max. So this here is gonna give us the maximum number of characters that can be on the input buffer. So if we save this, and run it. I can put a five here and many, many, many spaces here, some tabs, all kinds of stuff, and hit enter, and it's still okay. So this is how we could clear the input buffer in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.